I'm Coop. How y'all doing out there? I hope everyone is having a good and relaxing and nice Sunday. Um, I know I am. So let's get right into the scoop. All right. First, I want to say congratulations to Chad and Evelyn. So they got married on the 4th of July. There was a lot of people that were saying their engagement is fake. They're just doing this for attention and they didn't believe it. Well, they're married. Um, I know a lot of people was talking about their show that's coming on. They said they want to petition it and stuff like that. I don't get why people petition shows. If you don't like a show, just don't watch it. There's other channels to watch. So, all right. Also, I want to say congratulations to Michael Vick and his new wife, Kajafu, Kajufu, Khadija. I don't know how you say her name, but they got married last weekend. So, congratulations to them. Also, congratulations to Serena and Venus. They won the doubles uh, Wimbledon title. And also, congratulations to Serena. She won her fifth Wimbledon title. Wimbledon the title so congratulations girls keep doing their thing in the tennis world go all right so um let's get right into it let's start with uh let's start with Frank Ocean now if you haven't heard Frank Ocean came out uh saying that he was bisexual he wrote a letter saying you know he was in love with this guy broke his heart when he was like 19 and it's got a lot of people kind of feeling a, a certain kind of way. I don't see why. Um, if you liked his music before, I don't see why you still can't like his music. I know a lot of people on you know, Twitter and stuff would say, I'm not supporting him. I'm not listening to him anymore. That means you wasn't a fan in the uh, first place. What, what um, does him being bisexual has to do with his music? If the man keep... Um, writing hits for people if the man keep bringing hits to his own self because I love the, the Novocaine song um, I don't see what the problem is so and I don't see why it's such a shock that men are coming out that they're gay or bisexual like okay it's 2012 I mean a lot of people you know are coming out the closet so well, one person surprised me. Anderson Cooper also came out that he was gay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think he was gay, but you never know. So they both came out. I mean, Frank Ocean really got it bad because one, he's a black male. Two, he's in the hip hop world, and you know they kind of frown down on that in the hip hop world. So I just wish him much, much luck. And um, I like his music. Well, I like that one song, Nova Came. I haven't really heard of any other song that he has sung himself. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't see a problem with the man want to be himself. I know that's probably a lot of weight off his shoulders. So, go ahead, Frank Ocean. Do your thing. All right. And, and speaking of that, I told you Anderson Cooper is gay. Nobody gave him slack. That's because he know, he's in the mainstream world. So they don't really um, have too much to say about when people come out saying they're gay like that. They're like, oh, okay, we're still going to watch Anderson Cooper. So I don't see what the problem is. So, you know, um, Frank Ocean, like I said, do what you're doing. All right, next. All right, so love and hip hop. If you haven't heard, it was a rumor going around saying Jocelyn. Selena, Chi Chi Mommy, as I like to call her, got attacked at a, a viewing of the show last Monday. So they said a fan approached her, saying, How could you be with Stevie J or mess with Stevie J knowing he has a man? How can you um, abort your child, uh, abort your child that you uh, haven't, or, you know, uh, have an abortion? So she didn't say anything to the uh, fan. I think it was two of them. She didn't say anything to them. She just walked away. They thought that was just so disrespectful because she walked away and they didn't answer any of her questions. So, she, so they hit her. So they started attacking her. And there's a couple of videos on YouTube that's going around um, of the aftermath. Like, the girl is outside on her phone. Like, 
Yeah, he hit me. He hit me. I guess she was talking about Stevie J hit her. And it wouldn't surprise me if Stevie J did hit a woman. I mean, like, he's very disrespectful. Uh, so that wouldn't surprise me. But Jocelyn tweeted, you know, that, you know, she tweeted her face because they, they were saying that they messed up her face. So she tweeted a picture of her face saying, you, there's no scars, nobody attacked me or whatever. But I would, I really wish they leave Jocelyn alone. <clears throat> hey, don't, you don't really know the girl. So why are you going to go and ask her questions? She don't owe you no explanation just because she's doing a reality show? Come on, people. I mean, I know we think we know these people because we watch them on TV. But we don't know every part of these people's lives. So these some extreme fans. Come on now. All right. So, um, let's see. What else? Oh, for all you think like a man uh, fans, they're talking about bringing a part two. And I love the movie. And I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, what has happened since, you know, everybody got their stuff together. So, if they come out with that, I'll be there to support that movie as well, like I did the first one. Alright, so let's get back to Chris Brown and Drake. Lord. Okay, so, like last week or the week before, since Chris Brown and Drake want to fight, a boxing promoter has you know, propose that they do a celebrity boxing match. They would do three rounds, a minute each, and they would get a million dollars each. And also a million dollars will be donated to a charity, I guess of their choice. And I've heard that Chris Brown says he's down for it. That's not a surprise. <laughs> but um, I hope they don't do that because that's stupid. I mean, what y'all doing a celebrity boxing match for? I mean, y'all gonna try to get in there and kill each other. Well, I know Chris probably will. <laughs> but I don't know if any of you are on Twitter, but during the BET Awards, he was going off. Like, really. I think I talked about this in my last video, but he really went, he was going off like people was telling him to chill, don't ruin the awards, and um, just be cool, and, you know, Chris just calm down. And he was tweeting like, you know, when I see Drake, it's on. Come on, Chris. No, no, no. That's what people expect you to do. People expect Chris Brown to fly out the handle, to want to go after Drake and do stuff like that. Just stick to doing your music. Stick to being in a, a, a good entertainer like you are a great entertainer. And also, he just came out with his second part to fame, his Fortune album on last Tuesday. So he just needs to be cool. Be cool, be cool, be cool. And no, I haven't heard from Drake. I haven't liked Drake called me. I haven't seen any tweets from Drake or anything, you know, since the whole incident went down. And also the club that they, um, that the incident happened in, they lost their liquor license. And so now they closed down. And it was, it, it was a very popular nightclub in New York, in New York. So we're just going to see what happened because I know they are hard about that but anyway um what else i think that is all so like i said before i hope everyone has a have a good day and i thank you for watching and to my friend gwen this video is not that long so this is for you you better watch it hey gwen <laughs> and um if this is your first time watching please subscribe also please rate Please comment and follow me on Twitter at Scoop with Coop. I hope everyone have a blessed day. Bye-bye.